Education Shines a Light on Our Past, Confronting Racism. I am Anna Greco, Director of Education at the Greenwich Historical Society. In protest and pandemic, unrest and anxiety, in our nation and in our community, the Historical Society staff came together in the spring of 2020 to discuss how we could respond as a cultural institution to the racial inequalities that have plagued American life. As interpreters, documenters, and educators, we shared the view that the Historical Society should be part of the local dialogue around racism and its cultural manifestations here in Greenwich. In partnership with the YWCA of Greenwich, our staff enrolled in training on diversity, anti-racism, implicit bias awareness, and equity. This is core learning for all educators as we embrace our role as a crucial local cultural institution serving a diverse community of learners. Preservation, inequality, and diversity will be a topic explored in the form of programs and panels this coming year as we learn how to fill gaps in our own collection and archives and understand and promote equality and preservation locally and on a national scale. Conversations around race are not new to the Historical Society. In 2000, we presented our first exhibition, Making Greenwich Home, African Americans of Greenwich, followed in 2002 by Intimate Strangers, Slavery in Fairfield County an exhibit presented in conjunction with the installation of interpreted enslaved quarters in an attic over the original kitchen of the Bush Holly House. This work expanded our research and understanding of Greenwich. Connecticut enslaved more people than any other state in New England. By the American Revolution, there were just under 6,500 people held in bondage in the state. Most wealthy families, including the Bush family, had enslaved workers in their homes and even those who were not directly enslaving others profited from the slave trade. Money attached to slavery was everywhere within the Connecticut economy. Enter the Witness Stones Project. The Witness Stones Project is a registered nonprofit in Connecticut, which seeks to restore the history and honor, the humanity and contributions of the enslaved individuals who helped build our communities. Working primarily as an educational framework, the Witness Stones Project engages teachers and students in the classroom and at historic sites working with local historians. The Witness Stones Project culminates with students and community coming together to install a commemorative witness stone and share their research. These stones are placed at the identified residencies, places of worship, or graves of the enslaved person where they will serve as a permanent public reminder of the lives lived of enslaved people in their community. Last fall, under the lead of our Youth and Family Programs Manager, Heather Lodge, Greenwich Historical Society launched its first Witness Stones project with eighth grade students from Sacred Heart School and teacher Kelly Bridges. They visited Bush Holly House and our archives to participate in primary source research around the 15 enslaved residents of the Bush Holly House. Their focus was on two people, Cull and Candace, who lived at the Bush House at the turn of the 19th century. This unsigned watercolor painting of the Jabez Mead House is believed to have been painted by Hester Mead, the daughter of Candace Bush enslaved by the Bush family. Hester was born January 6, 1807. Delayed because of COVID, next spring we will host a ceremony to install our first two witness stones honoring Colin Candace on the Historical Society campus. Their stories will forever be a part of the interpretation of the Bush Holly House. In addition, Greenwich Academy and Greenwich High School have agreed to join our Witness Stones project and will research the lives of Bush Holly House enslaved persons, Patience, Cull Jr., and Hester. Their stones will be placed alongside those of Cull and Candace. Our interpretation will continue to evolve with new research as we strive to authentically recreate for our visitors a realistic understanding of what life was like for all members of the Bush household.